I mean, there were vultures in the area, but there were a few other kinds that I couldn't tell what they were, probably some kind of hawk. Pause. Before we move on, I need to explain something. We've been driving across the United States filming a documentary on the Underground Railroad, a network of extraordinary people helping runaway slaves in the 1800s find their way to freedom. We finally made it to Ripley, Ohio. Up until now, we've only seen small snippets of gold in terms of historical locations. Ripley, Ohio is El Dorado, the city of gold. has always given, always been willing to do things for people that needed to be done. I may not know you. I may not know all about you, but I'll help you. That's a, that's a thing that started before Rankin got here. Rankin just kind of pumped new energy into it, gave it a form called the Underground Railroad, but that spirit of helping people still is here. I could have worked anywhere. I can do lots of things. I choose to be a resident of Ripley, Ohio. That's the legacy of Rankin. Because if you come from a place like this and you know the history, you can't help but be proud. And if you're not, you need to talk to me. Because I'll make you proud. John Rankin kept a light in his window, and it was said that any runaway slave that entered that house was never seen again. The Rankin house and the town of Ripley was a beacon of hope for liberty. That looks weird. say that along these brick walls you can see old markings of bullet holes. They estimate about at least a hundred skirmishes here on this side. And you can see here and there the markings. <laughs> This vlog is kind of looking like a behind-the-scenes reel of our documentary. I know, it makes me Even though we were here for two weeks, our days were packed with trying to get all the stories this town had to tell. Did you just switch out the batteries yet? Yeah. I'm going to do all my testing with those batteries and then right before we film, that's mm -hmm. smart. 
Switch it. That's a good question because I've been writing short stories since I was eight, I think. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Little short stories, but. Our main contact was Anne Hagedorn, writer for the Wall Street Journal and author of many books, including the one on Ripley, Ohio, Beyond the River. She fell in love with Ripley while doing research on that book and has moved here from New York. She was the one who helped us get in contact with the many wonderful folks of this town. One day in the summer of 1892, just after sunset, Dr. Isaac Beck heard that rapping at the door that was once a common sound in his household. Standing on Beck's porch was a gray-haired black man who said he was traveling through Ohio to solicit funds for the benefit of a Freedmen's College near Memphis. He was a college professor, and he was a former fugitive slave. As he was coming through Brown County, he decided that he must take the time out from his work to find the people who had helped him escape many years before. Remember, it's 1892. Most of them, he learned, had already passed away. He remembered that Dr. Beck was one of the people who had carried food to him while he was hiding in a field outside of Sardinia. It had been 50 years, he said, but he could still recall the meal. He told Beck he had gone all the way to Canada, and then later, some years after the war, had returned to Tennessee to raise his family. Beck was touched that the man would seek him out. But as the man was about to leave, he realized that all through the conversation, he had never asked the man his name, nor had the man offered it. Sir, what is your name, he asked as he shook the man's hand at the door. The man smiled and said, my name is Rankin, after the man who took me in my first night here, unquote. Mm. Grabs me to this day. <laughs> after all the shooting, which we can't show you right now, Anne took us to her favorite dining spot across the river in Kentucky. Jocelyn, what are we about to do? 100 steps to Liberty Hill. What? 100? 100 steps? I, I'm going to start counting. Once we get to the steps, I'm going to start counting. Jocelyn says it's only 100 steps. Is that a guess? Was that? That is a Googled answer. It's a Googled answer? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> also, 
truck. <laughs> Which one? That one. Oh, yeah. That guy. <laughs> oh yes, Ohio River. That's Ohio where people River. cross. Wait. Eh, that. Should we restart Nothing. over there? Yeah, we should okay. <laughs> <laughs> This will be funny in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Ohio River. So At the start of our journey. Yes. Well, the rock river was in the Ohio River as wide. Back then. Wait, can you see the house from here? Yeah, thank you. Really? They said this is the alley you can see the house from here. This ain't no alley, this is a street. This is the alley, they call it an alley. So this is an alley. Oh yes, there it is. Over there, at the top of the hill. Jocelyn in our 100 steps to the top. This is going to be way more than 100 steps. Well, as she said, steps, right? Like uh, stairs. stairs. From the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shall so we begin? Yep. Okay, let's street. go. Ohio River. Who's going in? <laughs> well, well technically we quote unquote hey, following the timeline. What? Oh, what? She gets her and has own. a bench. And gets a bench? Huh, that's cool. I wonder if she knows that. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Who else gets a bench? I've read some of these and I did not know the names. Enjoy the river. Still done. Very strange. Who's enjoyed the river? They had a bench. Oh, the strangest. Nice. Cool. Anyway, river. It would have been at night, by the way, when they crossed. Most people. <laughs> That's where we started. <laughs> I don't think those count as steps. I wouldn't count those ones. I think this will count. That's just dirt. Path to the historic Rankin House. Not responsible for accidents. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, not really, 20. Yeah, we uh, kind of lost count, so we're going to stop counting, I think. That's a lot more creepy than I thought it'd be. But then again, the original stuff was 300 years old. I mean, 100 and some. <laughs> nah! <laughs> Very good. Okay. We've arrived. And that is the view. But most runaway fugitives would worry about that view. They'd probably go inside, warm up, have a good meal. The Rankin House. We, on the other hand, don't have a key to the inside, and it's locked. Therefore, are you really that exhausted, sir? We sat in a car for how long has it been? Two months. Oh, location. shot for shot. I mean, this isn't the best location, but still. Okay, shh. Okay, Jocelyn, whenever you're ready. Can we play the music first? Shh. 
Too slow. No. <laughs> Run faster. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just run up the hill, Jocelyn. And sing. Run up the hill singing and run past me. On your right or left? Doesn't matter. Sing. <laughs> she didn't miss anything. Right? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Why were you spinning past me? You're supposed to spin like over there. <laughs> And it doesn't matter, I'll just overlay it and it'll be funny. <laughs> you do it. Put your camera a little higher. I don't want to chop his head. <laughs> you ran out of my shot! <laughs> you like, the second you got like over there in my shot, you like spun out. And I was like, oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay, time to go get the equipment for a night shoot. Jipe, and it'll be like, hey, the uh, blocker. Exit. Eh. Now we have to turn that. Bye bye him. Okay. Panorama time lapse. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Just consistently spin Catch the camera. All of this. Alright, deploy. Yeah, I think. Wait, where you're standing? Yeah. Or do you want to do where you're standing? Hold on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I have a flashlight. Jeremy's this is what we're dealing with. That's there's what we're trying to. There's stairs there, and I don't want to go down those stairs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's also a pole beside the stairs. As long as I hit the electrical box. As long as you hit it. Why would you want to do that? Hey, I can't see anything. That's why she reversed. You mean went forward? Did she turn around? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she. Oh, you're on this side of the tree. She's still there, yes? You're good. She's gotta be. She has to lock up. Well, locking is different than unlocking. No, she said she'd wait for us. Yeah, I'd... Yay! All right. Chuck has landed. Ha ha ha, all right. out of the car. Oh, right, we were always on that side of the tree, I forgot. Cause I'm still standing. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what did I? I'm still <laughs> Why did I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Zeus. Alright, John. 